Welcome back, everybody. We're living healthy right now. It's that time of year. You may have seen it posted at work or you've been hearing about it. Time to get that dreaded flu shot. But don't dread it because you know what? Go do it. Um, then when maybe people are sick and you're the one who's not, you're going to say, oh, good thing I got my flu shot. Here to talk a little bit about it, uh, where you can get it, why it's so important to get it now is Ramona Nimmer from the Aurora Visiting Nurses Association of Wisconsin. Good morning, Ramona. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, actually, great to great to have you here. We actually did the whole flu shot thing here at work, um, and um, you know, uh, it's just you know a lot of employers are doing it. You're out in the community Absolutely. giving it. Um, it's just it's no big deal. It's like in and out, and then you're covered, right? Absolutely, it takes care of that annoying flu that comes around every winter. The body aches, fever, cough, chills. Uh, for healthy people like us, that can take us out of work or school for a few days and make us feel miserable. But the important thing is people that are at higher risk, right. the flu can develop into something more serious that can actually cause hospitalization and causes thousands of deaths across the country every year. So that's important, um, really is. So uh, if, if you know someone who's elderly, um, get them to take, you know, take them with, you know, give them a ride. Take Absolutely. The the elderly, that's one group that is of higher risk, but the other um, high risk groups that are uh, the CDC considers high risk are um, children between ages of six months and 18 years. Really? Okay. And, yes, absolutely. Pregnant women. Uh, people living in nursing homes or long-term long care facilities of other types, and people with any kind of chronic health condition, asthma, diabetes, heart disease, lung disease, those people are all at higher risk. And also included in increased risk groups are people that live with or have close daily contact with any one of those groups. Okay, good one. You know, that's a real good point. I always get my flu shot every year because they offer it here at work. But uh, you know what? You need to make sure the kids get their flu shots too. Everybody's covered. Absolutely correct. Um, let's talk about, this is really cool. I was excited about this. This first of all, there's plenty of the vaccine this year, yes, uh, yes. right now, and then it's a it's a double duty this year. This shot, correct. And the the common the what's in the flu shot changes every year mm -hmm. because the viruses that are heading our direction and that the CDC is tracking those can change. Um, but as of this year, the H1N1 virus is also covered in the flu shot. So you're being covered by the seasonal flus that are going to be most prevalent and, and the H1N1 in addition. Yay. So it's all in one. Last year, we had to get the two. Absolutely. And that was so, difficult. Yeah, really was. Um, and my daughter got the H1N1. And nobody wants that, let me tell you. Um, mm -hmm. So that makes it even easier. Okay, talk about easy. Um, you guys are going to be out and about really trying to um, make sure everyone gets their, their shots, their vaccinations this year. And you're going to make it easy because you're all over the place. You're at the grocery stores. Absolutely. Uh, tell, tell me a little bit about that. We uh, seasonally, the Aurora Visiting Nurse Association, our program is out in the community. We, you'll find us at your local grocery stores, pharmacies, schools, libraries. Uh, very easy to check and find out where we are. You can go online to www.aurora.org slash flu or you can call our toll-free number 1-800-862-2201 and find out where we'll be. We try to make it as easy for you as possible. If you're heading into Festival Foods to pick up one of those wonderful pork roasts, <laughs> you can stop off and get your flu shot while you're there. Two for one, so you don't Absolutely. need to make it a doctor appointment necessarily. Um, you're, you're here to make it easy. One other quick fact that I was just like, I got my shot yesterday, um, but Really, it takes two weeks, so get it early because you, you need to have, you know, tell me about that. Correct. It takes one to two weeks for your body to build up the level of immunity that you need to the flu shot. So, you know, if you're planning to go see grandma and grandpa who are in that higher risk group or if you're going to be around a young uh, new infant or baby over the holidays, this is the perfect time to get that shot because not only will you be protecting yourself, but you'll be protecting them. All right. Great, great points. Thanks so much, Ramona. Thank you. Appreciate it.